What's new this month at Rogers Railroad Junction? Athern is dominating the scene with new offerings in all three of its primary product lines. So we'll be starting off with the cream of the crop in the Genesis family and MP15 AC diesel switchers. An updated version of the venerable SW1500, the AC suffix actually refers to the inclusion of an alternating current powered radiator fan, not AC traction motors as many observers tend to assume. And while many spotting features exist to identify these units, the easiest way is to look for the radiator grills on the sides rather than on the nose. Featuring full sound and digital control, the typical Genesis attention to detail goes well beyond the wire form grab irons and a full cab interior in this instance. Athern has kicked things up a notch this time around, adding many era specific items, faded paint, blanked out Mars lights and emergency lights, and even utility boxes painted in Union Pacific yellow, a common post-merger artifact, peg these units as late 90s and beyond. And that's not a lighting trick you're seeing, that's simulated sun bleaching of the road name. All in all, a fitting tribute to the mighty SP as it was, versus how you like to remember it. And then, for those of us looking for road power, SD45s are also on offer. An upgrade of the venerable SD40 Electromotive engineers added four extra cylinders in creating the SD45, bumping the overall horsepower rating up to a then unmatched 3600. Including the later Dash 2 variant, close to 3,000 such machines were ultimately built, with many remaining in service even today. Offered with full digital sound and control, details such as scale handrails, Wind wings and cab visors, see-through vents, and constant voltage lighting are all standard. There's even working Mars lights and rooftop beacons where applicable, and a realistic startup sequence when power is applied to the track. That'll get your motor running. Then there's 50-foot plug-door boxcars. Based on prototypes of the Pacific Car and Foundry Corporation, Genesis has rendered these cars with details such as photo-etched crossover platforms, air hoses and cut levers, rotating axle-bearing end caps, full sets of brake rods and rigging, and separately applied door latches. A common sight on many modern manifest trains, such cars are typically used to haul canned goods, paper products, and other cargoes considered sensitive to temperature and humidity extremes, while on the other hand not requiring outright refrigeration. Moving down the line to the ready to roll family, SD39s are now rolling onto our shelves. Effectively, the mirror image of the SD45 within EMD's catalog, if one accepts an SD45 as an SD40 with four cylinders added, then the SD39 was a 40 with four cylinders removed. The resulting 2300 horsepower V12 engine block was substantially weaker than its larger cousins, but boasted far better fuel economy in return. Widely viewed as a niche market locomotive, only 54 examples were ever built. Featuring the typical Athern accoutrements of McHenry knuckle couplers, see-through grill work, separately applied plumbing and truck detail, 
Additional niceties include the same operating rooftop beacon as the Genesis units, and in this case, Santa Fe's peculiar centered brake wheel arrangement. Additionally, the ready-to-roll line is on the offer with 50-foot FMC double-door boxcars. Built by the Farmers Machinery Company, these cars with their extra-wide openings were most commonly used in hauling oversized and awkward freight such as automotive parts and dimensional lumber. Featuring wire grab irons, etched metal crossover platforms, and individual car numbers for those looking to build their own fleet. Then there's Roundhouse, Athern's baseline brand, who's not so much thinking outside the box as they are about the box, starting with 40-foot short high-cube boxcars. Developed as high-cubic capacity parts haulers for the automotive industry, these cars with their extended roof lines are easily identifiable by the white excess height band on their ends and by their tendency to list towards one side or the other when loaded. Apparently some warehouse crews have difficulty understanding what the term center of gravity means. Then there's 50-foot mechanical refrigerator cars. Identifiable by the ventilation grids at one end, these cars can often be found traveling in large blocks on manifest trains or in even larger blocks on dedicated unit trains. Staples of the food service industry, they can be found in great numbers anywhere that agriculture is the dominant industry. Looking for the perfect finishing touch? Offset cupola cabooses are in stock this month. In common use by dozens of railroads throughout the transition era of the 1940s through the 60s, these icons of the rails are available in multiple road names and fit well behind either steam or diesel powered trains. And finally, we have 50-foot plug-door boxcars. Lacking some of the finer details that define their counterparts in the Genesis line this month, these cars nonetheless offer an excellent operating profile at an affordable price point, and still feature things such as metal wheels, knuckle couplers, and optimized weighting. Just like all members of the Roundhouse family. And then there's Walther's, whose proto line is expanding this month with a new production run of SD9 diesel road units. An upgraded version of the preceding SD7, the SD9 featured EMD's improved 567C engine block. Both designs, however, featured the same soft suspension flexicoil trucks, and consequently both were referred to affectionately by crews as Cadillacs. 515 SD9s would be built over a five-year period for both domestic and export markets, with 150 of these units being delivered to the Southern Pacific Railroad. Featuring the award-winning Tsunami Soundtracks digital control system, a die-cast frame, metal grab irons, helical gears, a working Mars light, and many other road-specific details are all standard equipment. There's even working gangplanks for running multiple unit consists. And finally, there's 50-foot American Car Foundry boxcars from the Walther's Mainline series. Introduced by ACF in the mid-1970s, thousands of these cars were deployed by dozens of railroads, and in their time hauled almost every type of freight imaginable. Available in two different numbers for each road name offered, these cars come fully assembled and feature turned metal wheels and Protomax knuckle couplers. But of course there's always much more to see here at the Central Valley's most complete model train shop. So drop on by and see what else is new at Rogers Railroad Junction today.